Hmm. Okay, this one should be interesting. The AirPods or the AirPods Pros, which one should you get? Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best there. So I'm gonna keep this video nice and quick and down and dirty and let you know which one of these I think may be the best fit for you. So let's start with the number one thing, at least in my book, and that's going to be the price. So the AirPods Pros with their wireless charging case cost $249 and the AirPods with a wireless charging case cost $199 and then the AirPods without a wireless charging case cost $159. Now, all three of these cases can charge the AirPods when you put them back in it. And Apple says you can get around 24 hours of use out of all three of these versions, no matter which one is wireless or not. And so at the end of this video, if you're still kind of leaning towards the AirPods and you don't really care about wireless charging, I think your decision is gonna be pretty easy and that's gonna help you save some money going with the version that doesn't have the wireless charging case. Now, let's talk about battery life. So both the AirPods and the AirPods Pros can get you around five hours of use, but the AirPods Pros can only reach five hours if you turn active noise cancellation off. But if you leave it on, you should be around four and a half hours, which still isn't that bad. And so those times that I just gave you are for listening time. So when you're listening to your music or your movies, but if you want to talk about talk time, uh, the AirPods can get you around three hours and the AirPods Pros can get you around three and a half hours. So you're really kind of looking at a difference of 30 minutes when it comes to both listening and talk times. But if you want the absolute longest times, you want to go with the AirPods Pros. Now let's talk about design real quick. So you can tell that the AirPods Pros are going to be shorter and also just a little bit fatter, but they feel great in your ear. And the fact that they are short, they don't have that long stem like you find on the AirPods means that if you are gonna be taking your shirt off like Jonathan Morrison here is doing, they're less likely to get hung up on your shirt and fall off. And that has happened to me so many times. But the main difference with the design is that the AirPods Pros have customizable tips. So in the box, you get three different pairs of tips, small, medium, and large, and you can just pull one off and then push one back on. And now this will allow for you to get a better fit depending on your ear size. Now, me personally, I haven't had any issues with the AirPods as far as being comfortable. Actually, when I put them in my ear, I don't feel them at all. But with these AirPods Pros, they are comfortable, but because the ear tips is in your ear and they're kind of making a seal, you do feel them a little bit more than you do with the AirPods. All right, so now let's talk about sound quality. And this is gonna be really easy. The AirPods Pros sound better. And that's because Apple has re-engineered the internals and with all the different chipsets and stuff like that to make the sound better and also does have an adaptive EQ so that means it's going to be kind of adjusting to your ears and to a lot of different things and variables to make sure the music sounds the best and also with that active noise cancellation because it is blocking that unwanted noise from your background when you have ANC on you just hear your music you just hear your movie and so you can hear all the details and the sounds but with that being said the AirPods don't sound bad either I never had an issue with the sound quality on the AirPods and maybe that's just me because I'm just using these for working out and just walking around I think they sound just fine. But another reason why these AirPods Pros sound better is because they do have these customizable tips. So when you put them in your ear, they make a really nice seal in your ear that keeps the sound from leaking out and also keeps the sound from getting in. But at the same time though, I do like the way the AirPods feel in my ear because they don't create that seal. When I'm walking around, I can still hear my environment. I can still hear the cars on the street. I can still hear somebody walking up behind me and I don't have to take these out in order to talk to someone. But with these AirPods Pros, because you have that really nice tight seal, you either have to take these out to talk to someone or you can enter the new transparency mode. Now the transparency mode basically uses the microphones to be able to let noise in. And while it does sound great, it's one of the best transparency modes that I've used on kind of headphones like this, it still doesn't sound as natural as the AirPods because the AirPods aren't doing anything. They're just sitting in your ear. It doesn't need to process anything. So if you like kind of being aware of your surroundings, I kind of like the AirPods for that. And then when it comes to controlling these two, the controls are better on the AirPods Pros because they do have have a force sensor and this new thing allows you to not only double tap like you can on the regular AirPods but you can also triple tap as well so you can control all the different playback controls and also answer your phone calls and things like that without having to choose one or two like you have to do in the settings with the regular AirPods on these AirPods Pros you have all those controls ready to go and then the force sensor can also be squeezed to be able to switch between the active noise cancellation mode and also the transparency mode and the last notable difference between these two is that the AirPods Pros are rated IPX4. So that means they can survive splashes of water and sweat for like 10 minutes, but I think they'll be just fine just like this. Now, I actually did this to the AirPods too, and that is cold, and maybe I should have waited to do that. But um, from my personal experience, I've accidentally put these AirPods into the washing machine and they survived like two or three times. And I even put them in the dryer once and they came out fine. So, I mean, if you just want that peace of mind, the AirPods Pros are definitely gonna be made for that. But I think both will be great against water and sweat.
Okay, I just had to rehydrate there for a second. I actually use the water the right way. But yeah, those are the major differences between these two. Now they both can do some other things like Hey Siri commands and they both have that H1 chip inside of them. So it makes it very easy to pair with your iOS device. And I really think it comes down to one thing if you're trying to decide between these two. And that is, do you need active noise cancellation? Because if you don't and you're just fine with the AirPods the way they sound and you don't really care about blocking out a lot of background noise, maybe you're just using these to run outside or walk around you still want to kind of hear your environment, the regular AirPods are a great choice for you. But if you are someone like me that travels a lot and I find myself on planes a lot of the time, I don't like to use headphones without active noise cancellation on a the plane. These AirPods Pros can come in handy because I haven't used them on a the plane just yet, but I can assume that they'll be just fine. I think that they'll be able to block out enough of that noise with the plane and people talking or whatever, uh, so I can still listen to my music or watch a movie and mostly peace. So I think these come in handy. So this prevents me from having to bring a another pair of headphones in certain situations. But now the choice is up to you. So leave your comment down below and let me know which one of these that you would go with. And also make sure you do subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. But like always, I do wanna thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.